Hey everyone, this is Nitro. So, I realized I might have over exaggerated on just how good Claret is. So in this video, I thought I should mention some of Claret's weaknesses rather than her strength, which is that insane 10 mobility. So, let's, what are Claret's weaknesses? First of all, the biggest weakness arguably in truth is probably tanks who have revival in their talent, such as the Emilia, who will eventually be released, and Vargas. The reason why they are so good in truth is because this talent absolutely cannot be disabled. Um, unlike, let's say, Landius, whose talent is ultimately just, a, I guess, a skill, and skills can easily be disabled, talents truly cannot be disabled. So Vargas and Emilia are more or less guaranteed to be revived. Now, why this becomes a key point is because you may potentially have Vargas and Emilia be able to actually tank the Thunder Flash attack of Claret, right? Especially once Ancient's Call is released. Ancient's Call allowing you to being the second enchant system, allowing you to you know buff your defense, hit points, and all those stats even further, can give you the ability to survive a melee strike from Claret. So if you survive the melee strike from Claret, she has to waste her second attack to kill you, and then your character revives, you've basically suicided Claret for nothing, right? For, I guess, for disabling the revival effect, which is basically nothing, which is absolutely going to lose the match because you're going to be facing a 5v4 after that. So that's one way Claret can become less and less useful in the future. The other weakness of Claret, and it's actually a pretty big one right now, exists currently in the game. However, this weakness is luck-based, and I'm just going to jump into the game to show what that weakness is. The weakness is the enchant I have on my Landius. Thorns. While Thorns only has a 30% chance of activating to reflect 50% of your damage taken, if Thorns activates, Combined with the counterattack from your tank, that's pretty much guaranteed to kill Claret, from what I know. So, yeah, I mean, if Claret attacks, Thorns activates, she ends up suiciding herself. GG, right? <laughs> so, it's not like Claret is invincible. It's just she is very, very difficult to deal with overall because of that 10 mobility. What Claret really, really shines in, especially, is actually being a simple hard counter to Zerida, right? Zerida's talent only activates if you're outside of the danger zone of your opponent. Well, if your enemy has a 10 movement Claret or potentially 12 movement with Breeze enchant, how do you get out of the danger zone of Claret? It's almost impossible, I would say. So that can allow Claret to completely counter Zerida since she no longer has 7 mobility, instead she has 3. So that's another way to deal with... Uh, so I guess there is other uses for Claret rather than as a single target tank buster who will just win you a match, right? And yeah, so I guess that's everything I want to pretty much say in this video. Because I know I gushed about how good Claret is, and don't get me wrong, Claret is definitely a top tier character that you want to build if you can, but at the same time, she is absolutely not 100% required, especially if, let's say, you play Strategist or Empire, right? If you play Strategist or Empire, there's absolutely no reason to build Claret because she is not part of those factions, and, you know, you get tanks who can revive, which will allow you to counter Claret with proper play, as long as your tank is built up, of course. So, that's everything I wanted to say. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this video useful because once again, I know I really gushed about her, but she does have vulnerabilities at the end of the day. Like everything else, there is no character that as long as you build her, you'll win every single match in Apex Arena. All right, and on that note, Nitro out.